often a ball to a stud will shear off and you'll end up with just slightly proud of the surface like that and a lot of times this will be on a machine or something where you can't actually get to the back of it so I've just rigged this up as a bit of a demonstration really there are several techniques for getting a broken bolt out like that but one of the easiest ones and certainly one of the quickest ones is to get a nut of the correct size put that on there and weld the nut on the inside and that'll actually stick to the broken stud of the broken bolt and then it'll help you get it out another important point is you're far better off doing this with a MIG welder if you've got one uh, I'm going to be using an arc welder here which is uh, a bit more difficult but uh, it'll still work all the same but it's just a bit easier with a MIG welder so this video assumes that you already know how to weld if you don't know how to weld that'll be coming at a later date hopefully so we're going to put the nut on there then what we're going to do is we're going to get the welder it's not actually switched on right now but we're going to get it we're just going to hold the nut and then we're just going to tack a bit of a weld on the inside as soon as we've got a bit of a weld on we're going to start running the rod around the inside now an arc weld is not ideal for this because it creates a lot of slag which is going to be included in the weld but for this it doesn't really matter because all we're concerned about is getting the damaged ball to the damaged stud out of that hole so all we're going to do is we're just going to weld that we're going to switch the welder on and we're going to whack a bit of weld in there until there's enough welding so that it'll hold and then we can just get our spanner and we can undo it and we can remove the broken stud uh, one thing you must do when you're welding is of course wear your correct PPE so I'm now going to put my visor on and you should also ensure that you've got adequate ventilation whenever you're welding so it's a little bit difficult for me welding here because of the position of the camera and the light but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a, a decent shot of the actual weld going into the actual nut so as well as welding something to the top of the stud that'll help us remove it the actual heat generated during welding is also going to help loosen the stud so it's important that you get your nut exactly over the stud where you want it so we're now going to switch the welder on and we'll just run a bit of a weld on the inside of the nut And you can see that that was actually glowing red hot, there was that much heat in it. So that will hopefully help us to remove the stud. So if we now take our spanner, we should now be able to remove the stud. And as you can see, it has firmly welded the nut to the stud. But as you can see, that's the actual weld on the inside of the nut. So that's one way to remove a broken stud.